Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters, welcome back to my channel. Alright, it is time for my project pan update number three, four? I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't even know what fucking day it is. I've been in this house for so long, I'm like, what time? I don't know what that is. All I know is it is time for a project pan update. So, um, this year we, Kat and I, and many other panners are using the hashtag TeamProjectPan2020 on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, to connect with other panners um, and share our progress. I'm doing a full face rolling project pan, so I have a full face of products, plus, you know, body, hair, fragrance, skincare, and some samples. Um, and as I use something up, I roll something in to take its place. And every three months, I am doing a refresh, or I'm allowed to do a refresh of my project. And we are at the three month mark. So I'm gonna start with my empties. And, oh, look, it's, it's not, mm, I don't have a lot of progress on anything. Um, and all of my empties are like tiny, tiny empties. So I finished up my Ciate Mini Nail Polish. This is in the shade Couture. Um, there's a tiny bit at the bottom, but it's so hard to get out and it's thickened up. And I was like, should I add some like nail polish thinner to it? And I was like, no, why am I even bothering? I don't care that much. Um, Anyway, I managed to finish it. I was mostly using it on my toenails because I've sort of been into gel polishes, but now I'm currently back into like normal polishes. So, you know, I'm flip-flopping all over the place. That one I finished and I will replace it with another nail polish, but I'll do my replacements at the end of the video. Um, the other things that I finished were two little samples. So this one, okay, this is probably the one that I'm most excited to talk about. This is the uh, L'Occitane Immortel Divine Cream. Um, so when I introduced this, I had quite a few comments from people telling me that um, this could be a problematic product for me. They know that my skin is sensitive because I'm on isotretinoin um, and they had some issues with this like being just not not great for them. Um, turns out I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the scent. I love the way it felt on my skin. My skin felt plump and soft and super hydrated, but it wasn't like, like when it was on the skin, it didn't feel thick and heavy. I really, really like this. Like really liked it. Like it would go on my list of moisturizers that I would buy if I didn't have any moisturizers but I've got like 60 million moisturizers so you know there we go but loved it really really enjoyed it um something else that I finished up was the Centure de Orient uh Jasmine of Arabia soap so this was just a little bar soap I was kind of like God, I'm never going to finish this. It's going to take me all year. Um, I actually smashed through it in March because uh, we had to wash our damn hands a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot um, because of this uh, COVID-19 business. So I smashed through it. Um, and it's a nice soap, but, but to me, it's just soap. It is meant to be like a fancy soap, but I'm like... Whatever, I just buy like Dove bars when I go to the supermarket, to be fair. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna spend money on fancy soap. Not bar soap anyway, I'm that's, I'm not that person. Uh, some more empties that I have are sheet masks. I only finished three of the four that I had in here. So I have the, uh, what was it? Is it Dodo Japan? Um, hmm. No, it's Creer Beauty. So this is the Shara Shan uh, mask collection with the Sailor Moon thing on its face, on print, on the mask. Um, I wasn't really into this. I didn't think it was super effective. It's a bit just like a gimmicky sheet mask. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. Uh, I had the Yet um, Heart Beating Nutrition Mask. 
this was okay, but I wouldn't buy it again. I thought it was actually quite dry. I think all of these Yet masks are quite dry. Um, and then I had the Double and Zero Collagen Sheet Mask. I really love these. I tried a sample of it and I loved it so much that I bought like a full box of them. So I'm like working my way through that box. These ones are really, really nice. Um, they're good for like plumping and softening stuff. Um, I am annoyed that I didn't finish my fourth sheet mask. Actually, where is it? There we go. That's, that's the other sheet mask that I have, but I did not finish that one. All right, let's do progress of products. Progress. Progress on things. So Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I introduced this at the start of March and it looks like I've used less than a gram. Um, I think I've only used it twice in March to be honest. I have said it before. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. Not a huge fan of primers. Um, this one I don't mind because it just feels like a nice moisturizing primer and my skin is dry. So that's good for me. I think if I remember to use it, then I could actually finish it up and not like be using it begrudgingly. Um, I just forget to use it because primer's not really, like I said, something that I care all that much about. Foundation. Okay, so mm, this is a CoverGirl Outlast active foundation. I have the shade 825. Bush, bush, buff beige. So this was 28.65 grams, now 24.228 grams. Um, since we're at the end of March now, um, I am very disappointed that I haven't finished this because a foundation realistically should only take me about three months to finish, and that's even from being full. And this wasn't actually Full. I'd used it a couple of times before. So I am disappointed that I haven't finished this um, and it's just sort of driving home the, the like fact that I haven't worn a lot of makeup this year. I've sort of only been wearing it when I have to. Um, I haven't been making time for myself on my sort of other off days or my, my non-filming days, let's call it that, my non-filming days to just go and put some makeup on and like play and have some me time. And um, that's kind of, I feel like that is becoming a problem for me uh, because it means that I'm not gonna be using my collection as much, which means things are gonna be going bad without actually getting used over time. And it's unacceptable. So I'm really gonna try to start um, getting back into the habit of just taking like an hour every day to just put on something on Netflix or watch a YouTube video or whatever and put some fucking makeup on my face and play. Um, so hopefully this will be done by the next update. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. <laughs> okay, so this was 21.57 grams. It's now 19.81 grams. However, I took the stopper out um, and it's like I'm getting there. I'm getting there again. I think if I actually take the time to do my makeup more often, um, I will be able to finish this in a month. I don't use this under my eyes. It looks so bad. It's gross. It's like the driest motherfucking shit I've ever put under my eyes. Um, but it's fine on my face. Like I put it sort of around my nose on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my chin where I'm sort of particularly red. And then I go in with like foundation and everything works well. So really want to finish that one. Powder. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. So this was 55.2 grams, now 51. 0.08 grams. Um, I'm starting to get a slight dip on this side. I When I put my brush in any pan, um, for some reason I put more pressure to the right of the brush um, or the upper right of the brush and uh, I always create pan in that sort of area first. So I'm getting there. I can actually start seeing rings in the product, which means 
probably by uh, the end of April I would have hit pan on this. I go through pressed powders very quickly so I'm not surprised. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I introduced this last month. It was 85.51 grams. It's now 69.83 grams. Um, I used to hate this because it just it's not suitable for dry skin uh sorry oily skin oily skin uh breaks down foundation really quickly it makes it chunky and gross uh but i actually love it on dry skin i love it and i think i have like three cans of this somehow i ended up with three cans so it's good that i like it i'll get through a couple of them this year then i have the urban decay gwen stefani palette now if you watch everything that i publish you will know what's going on with this palette if you watched my um it was my just doing my makeup where i was using a full face or almost full face of um nabla nabla products um and i didn't have a nabla bronzer so i pulled this out and i showed you guys a sneak peek uh i hit pan on uh lo-fi so there we go that's the shade i've been using as a bronzer now I, okay, so when I started this project at the start of the year, I was saying that I will probably include a face palette and swap it out every three months. Um, and this month when I hit pan on lo-fi, I was like, oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to continue with this palette and pan what I can? Or do I want to swap it out? And I have opted to stick with it for now. At this point, I am, I know that I'm not going to use these two blushes. I have been using OC as a blush and actually quite enjoying it. Um, and every now and then I use uh, the highlighter Angel and occasionally I'll mix a little bit of Angel with Hush because Hush, Hush is just an itty bitty itty bit blah, blah, blah. itty bitty bit too <laughs> wow that's really difficult to say itty bitty bit too dark for me and because it has pinker undertones it sort of clashes ever so slightly with my more yellowy olive undertones so I don't reach for that one as much but uh, I feel like it would be such an achievement to finish half of the palette like lo-fi, angel and OC, but also I know that's probably going to take me well over a year. So I'm kind of like, this guy is sort of on notice for me at the moment. I'll definitely finish lo-fi um, and hopefully throughout the month I will be able to decide what I want to do with it. But I am actually finding it kind of difficult to let this one go and I feel like I shouldn't but I am so that's an internal battle that I will have on my own and voice it every time I do an update. Becca Afterglow palette so um, I had quite big pan on both of the highlighters in this palette last month and I repressed them so these guys have been repressed they're quite thin I hope to finish them um, I don't like this blush I don't like it it's just too fucking pigmented i like it doesn't look like much does it but when it goes on the face it's just like mm, like clown cheeks um i do really like topaz and i've got a fairly decent dip in it but i just don't think i'm gonna be able to finish it and the bronzer well it's not a bronzer it's wild honey blush but it's a bronzy shade i feel like if i could actually get a brush in there so i could bronze with it without also getting it in a uh, flower child i'd be able to finish it but and i will say i do like this palette if that pink blush wasn't in there this palette would be like i would protect it with my motherfucking life um but yeah that i wonder if i can pop them out no 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 i've just tried to stick something in there to pop them out and i i don't even have anything like thin enough and strong enough to get under there to try and like was gonna sacrifice topaz to see if I could make it work but it's it's no good um anyway yeah this guy 
I just, if I can finish these two, I think I will just get rid of it. And any other progress I make on anything else is just a bonus. So, you know, whatever. I'm actually, I love those highlighters. I love them. I've been really enjoying using them. Um, I've sort of uh, <laughs> neglected them a little bit this month because I've had some new makeup come into my life and I've been really enjoying playing with them. The Nabla um, highlighters just whoa they're so nice um so yeah kind of neglected it a little bit but it's cool it's cool i'm gonna keep going with it gold gaga this is the astralis metallics in the shade gold gaga so last month i had 11.58 grams of product or it weighed 11.58 grams it's now 11.54 grams uh so i did use it i did use it um it's just like it's so slow going but this is beautiful i love this product i'm so surprised at how well it has held up over the literal years that i've been trying to pan it it's still creamy it hasn't gotten dry or gross um but i'll probably be panning this for another two years and you can bet your ass i am fucking sticking this out MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm loving this. This was 54.85 grams. It's now 54.56 grams. I use it every time I do my eyeshadow. It's not drying up. As you can see, like this side is pulling away from the pot. It's not drying up yet. Um, I just, I drop it. I drop it almost every time I use it. And because it is quite soft, it like pulls away from the, the side of the jar and like sort of mushes and stuff like that but I'm going to keep going with that until I either finish it or it is too dry to use. Okay I have two products that I am removing from my project so first up is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Bold Defining Liquid Eyeliner in Plum Desire. So this is a purple eyeliner and the reason I've decided to get rid of this is not because it's a bad product it's simply because I am not using it so I didn't use it once throughout um, March and last month I said if I don't use it I'm getting rid of it I am not really doing a lot of wing liner at the moment and if I do I want to do it with a black gel or liquid I'm not reaching for colored liners at the moment this one I have had for a very long time I think it's just time to declutter it uh, the other one that I'm getting rid of is the Catrice Liquid Metal Gel Eye Pencil in the shade Black Stage. This is a like metallic grey shade. Um, so I'm getting rid of this for one reason and one reason only. It bleeds on me. It moves, it like smudges throughout the day. I have small eyes um, and something that really can close off and like make small eyes look really beady is if you use a lot of black or dark colored eyeliner and if it then bleeds sort of along your lower lash line it will make your eyes look smaller and more receded and my eyes are fairly deep set anyway and I don't like the way that looks so Usually what I would do with this is I use it to tight line. So that's to line the upper inner waterline of the eye to deepen up the lash line and make the eyelashes look fuller and thicker. Now, if an eyeliner stays in place and doesn't sort of transfer onto your lower waterline or underneath your lower lash line, it looks really good but when it's moving and transferring it starts to make my eyes look smaller more receded beady it's just not it's not my thing um, I getting rid of this means that I have two black pencils in my stash now um, this one's not black but look it's close enough uh, it's dark enough to use it for the job that I would use it for um, I'm going to introduce one of those uh, pencils into my project a little bit later and the other one is the NARS um, gel liner in Via Veneto and that is up there with like one of my holy grails they stay put on my eyes doesn't move so I'm I'm getting that part of my collection like my black or dark um, liner pencils to a point where it's literally only 
my like holy grail would repurchase type of products. So that's really exciting. Mascara. Mecha Max Wink Ink Mascara. I love this. It's great. Um, I Mine is starting to thicken up a little bit. Uh, so I reckon I haven't got a whole lot of time left with this particular product. But I'm going to keep going with it while it's still good because I really enjoy it. Uh, so it was 20.26 grams. It's now 20.09 grams. Next up, I have my MAC uh, Shape and Shade Brow Tints. So I have uh, Lingering and Fling. They're like my perfect brow color combination from MAC. Um, and I was using them sort of in conjunction with each other and not really seeing any progress. And I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to just focus on one at a time. Um, and that's kind of what I tried to do this month. But uh, Every time I picked one up, I was like, I can't remember if I'm focusing on fling or lingering. Um, so I just like grab whichever one and use that predominantly to do my brows. Then today I did my weights and I realized that uh, the good graces of God, makeup gods, were with me. And I did make more progress on one over the other. So that one is fling. It was 9 grams, now it's 8.97 grams. And the shade in Lingering was 8.91 grams. It's now 8.9 grams. So this guy got the most use uh, throughout the month. I'm going to try to remember that the shade that I'm using the most is Fling. Try and finish that up. I do find that... I don't know how much product is in the, the pen part. It doesn't actually say. It just says uh, total net 0 0.95 grams. I don't know how much of that is this and how much is the liquid, but I do find that whenever I do my brows with this, I have to do a few strokes and then I have to like shake it and then do a few strokes and shake it. So I don't know how long they're going to last. I, I actually wouldn't buy these again. Initially, when I was first using these, I was like, I really like these pen ends. They're great, but it's annoying as fuck having to like shake it multiple times just to get through one brow. So yeah, these, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it to myself again. Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I did not remember to use this often, but I did use it. Uh, so it was 17.26 grams, now 17.19 grams. I feel like if I actually remembered to use this every time I did my makeup, I'd make good progress on it. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to try to keep using it. Contains seven mils. Oh, it's going to take me a long time. Colourpop Libby Pencil in Beeper. So this was 6.49 grams, now 6.39 grams. Um, I didn't use it too often. I might just put a little, a little sump sump on now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I basically just try and pair it with a nude lip or clear gloss or a transparent gloss or whatever um, but I'm working through it really slowly and I don't actually hate that because I kind of love this color it's my like my lips but so much sexier and better it's such a great color um, so you know if you take all year that's all right sis you take all year because I like wearing you Lipstick. This is the Rimmel Kate Rock and Roll Nude. Um, I didn't even use this once. And it's not because I don't like the formula. I can totally wear this formula, which is fantastic. It's creamy. It's, um, you know, not super hydrating, but it doesn't dry my lips out. My issue is I don't like the color. I just, I'm not, I'm not reaching for it. And what I find is if I use the lip liner and then put this over it, I like it. But if I reapply this throughout the day, I'm, I'm not into it. It's too pink. It's not the color that, it's not the kind of nude that I'm going for. So I've actually decided to declutter this. Um, I am going to roll in, I've got two more of these lipsticks in different shades. I'm going to roll them or roll one in. And what I've decided to do with lipsticks is instead of trying to focus on one and pan it, which I struggle with massively i'm going to introduce one and if i use it a lot throughout the month and make good progress i'll continue but if i don't i'll declutter it and roll in a new one 
Next up is my lip gloss. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss in Rose and Shine. So this was 26.6 grams, now 25.75 grams. I actually didn't use this a whole lot. Um, definitely not as much as I would usually use a gloss. Um, I have I have so many lip balms and lip glosses on the go at the moment. Um, and whenever I'm like, if I'm at home, I just sort of reach to where I know they are. Whichever one touches my hand is the one that I pick up. I don't even look at them. I just use it. Um, and the same goes for what's in my handbag. And this one was in my handbag. And I found that whenever I dug in and like just because I, I don't even look I'm just like give me a fucking lip product um, and then I put it on this just really really came out of the bag um, so I didn't use it as much but what I've decided to do is um, I've got a few that are sort of on their way out they'll you know start to be empty I'm not going to add more to my bag so eventually I will get through this but I'm not sort of putting myself through massive pressure of finishing it up I really enjoy this product it is beautiful and hydrating um, I really like lip glosses for when my lips have um, become extremely dry and they have like a layer of dry dead skin on them and you have to rehydrate that dead skin for it to safely come off your lips uh, because I'm on isotretinoin if I try to like use a scrub to force that product off when it's still like dry um, I can end up like cracking my lips splitting my lips uh, and they bleed and it's gross and I obviously don't want to do that to myself so things like lip glosses are really good for softening it up but lip balms not so much lip balms are better for like maintaining hydration glosses are good for like getting hydration in so that's kind of how I like to use my glosses and my balms Linda Holberg uh, blossom oil so I had this in the project as my lip balm and that's kind of how I was using it and I also started using it as a cuticle oil because it's like a multi-purpose oil now what I found is that I really love this as a cuticle oil um, and I decided that since I didn't have any well I've got one cuticle oil product that I really love um, but I didn't have any like other little cuticle products that I really really loved that I would just use this as a cuticle product um, the other item that I like to use is just jojoba oil I find my skin responds really well to it and that that's probably in here I don't know anyway um, so I've only been using this as a cuticle oil and I did not make much progress you can see my little lines there it will be slow going but I'm not gonna stress myself about that I'm just going to enjoy it because I'm I'm happy using it my fragrance is Ralph by Ralph Lauren uh, so you can see my lines there I've made a little bit of progress um, it's like it's fine I really like this uh, perfume it has a lot of nostalgia for me but I'm like ready to let it go I'm ready to move on um, it reminds me of like late high school and you know sort of late teens and stuff like that so yeah this is my last bottle I've had so many of them over the years uh, but I'm ready to let this baby go when I finished it I am gonna finish it and when I have this fragrance will be a part of my past and not my present Jergens deep restoring argan moisturizer I made crap shit progress this year uh, this month um, I made massive progress originally and shit ass project pro pro progress uh, in March but that's all right I was using some other moisturizers body oils stuff like that so I'm not surprised that I didn't do super well uh, but I'm hoping I'm hoping I can actually use maybe half of what's left in April and then have it finished by the end of May um, another one I did not make good progress on at all is the nature box uh, secret repair cream so this is um, uh, like uses 100% avocado oil um, to help like rehydrate the hair and it is silicon free which I love because I'm sort of trying to minimize silicon use in my hair because it it does 
shit things to my hair now. I don't know why. I never used to have an issue with it, but now there are certain silicones that I can't use in my hair. <laughs> um, I love this. I just forgot to use it. So um, I, I have like this little section on my bookshelf that's near a f like full length mirror where I blow dry my hair after I wash it and style my hair. Um, and what happened was the little section of hair products was getting a bit out of control and I had this cute box. So I decided to put them all in the box to keep them neat and tidy and not look so cluttered. And then I just promptly forgot to fucking use it. So, you know, there's that. Um, I do need to kind of keep this out because I've been using it all, well, in the past, I used it as a pre-wash treatment and I loved it for that. Like it is smashing as a pre-wash treatment. So I need to remember or I need to leave it out on my fucking bookshelf and live with the clutter, which I don't really want to do. I'm enjoying the neatness of not having the clutter. Okay, let's get into the samples that I have in the project. And I need to admit that I am failing massively with the makeup samples. Like, just so, so bad. Like, I didn't even use them once this month. I still have the Skin Perfect Primer from Dermalogica. It's a fucking sachet sample, for Christ's sake. It's not hard to use. I just forget to use it. I think... The problem is I keep these with the rest of my Project Pan stuff and because they're little, they sort of fall to the bottom and I don't see them. So I think I need to get a little like container just to put on my desk so that I see them when I'm sitting down to do my makeup. So failed on the primer, failed on the NARS foundation, which I really love and should use. Um, failed on the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, which is one of the sexiest colors ever. It is magic wand. Um, and if I pair this with the uh, gloss from Soap and Glory, it's just like this one here. It's just like the most divine thing I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> that's very dramatic. Uh, I've also got the Radiant Yellow Natural Radiance Illuminating Base from MAC. To be honest, I would probably love this product if I could just remember to fucking use it because I love, like, anything that helps with glow or hydration at the moment, I love. So why am I not using it? Uh, because I forget. See if I can actually finish one of those friggin' makeup samples by next month. That would be nice. Ren Evercalm uh, Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. So I was here at the last update. I didn't even use it once. Pathetic. Uh, another one that I didn't use was the Way uh, Finishing Cream. Again, this one went in the box with this, and I was just like out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Not good. Um, and something I also forgot about, but actually used last night, and I will continue to use it uh, over the next few nights, or maybe, yeah, I reckon there might be two uses in there. It's the Glow Recipe uh, Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. So I put this over all of my finished skincare um, at night, and it sort of locks everything in and um, helps to promote uh, rehydration overnight. So there we go. Massive, massive fail with the samples. <laughs> so I need to introduce a few new products uh, to replace my liquid liner and my uh, pencil liner. I have the Mecha Max Wink Ink liquid liner. So I've been using this for a while and um, it it's probably like I might have maybe another month or two of use in there. Um, and I use this, if I'm not doing a wing liner, which most days I don't, I think I did it twice in March. I don't think I did it at all in February. Uh, what I will do is I will just do a super, super thin line along uh, the top of my lash line. And that helps to hide um, an eyelash Band if I'm wearing fake lashes and it's got a black band um, or it just helps to sort of thicken up the look of uh, the eyelashes at the base similar to what uh, tight lining does and the next one I have is the Linda Holberg black core crayon now I have used this a few times and I think it stays put 
on um, my water lines, but I can't recall. So it's going into the project so that I can use it and work out whether it stays or if the only one I keep is Via Veneto from NARS. Lipstick. So I am introducing another uh, Rimmel Kate lipstick. This looks similar to the other one that was in here, but it's much more brown and I'm really digging a brown lip at the moment. Uh, it's Boho Nude, so this is like a sort of caramelly nude shade. It's sort of along the same lines of what I'm wearing now. Um, you know what? There we go. So this is a lot more of the vibe of what I want from a lip product at the moment. A nude colour along the brown caramelly uh, spectrum rather than a pink spectrum. I do also enjoy um, mauvey nudes uh, but the more pink it is and you can see that that rock and roll nude looks very pink in comparison um, that that's not it's not my jam so this one I'll declutter this one I'll stick in the project I'll see if I can make some good progress on it if I am great maybe I can like finish it up but if I'm not again I'm going to put it in the declutter drawer and I'll pull out another one um, which is from the same range but it's more mauvey uh, and if I like look if I'm not using lipsticks this year at least I'm still whittling down my collection a little bit. Nail polish uh, I am introducing another Ciate mini this is in the shade Pepperminty and it is currently about here I will mark it I'm just gonna let it settle for a little bit longer um, Aside from this, I have one other Ciate Mini that I want to finish up this year. It is like, I have to finish them. I like the colours of them, but I actually don't like Ciate's formula. I don't think it's very good. Um, it lasts on my toenails because anything lasts on my toenails. I don't know what it is. It's like nail polish in my toenails, like cockroaches. You can't kill them. Uh, but on my fingernails, it like not even 24 hours and that shit is chipping off. Uh, so, you know, I want them, I want them gone. Also, my nail polish drawer is fucking full and it's annoying. I want to make it smaller. Uh, for sheet masks, so I finished three. I've still got one in the project, which I will keep in there and I'll finish. Um, I'm actually introducing this. So this is a packet of, um, like compressed sheet masks. So essentially what you do is you add your own, fluid you put one of the sheet masks in here and then you add your own fluid so you could use like a hydrating toner or even an acid toner um, you could use a brightening toner you could use any sort of serum that you want hyaluronic acid vitamin c whatever you want whatever you want so you get to sort of create your own sheet mask based on what you know your skin needs and what you've got in your stash there are nine in here um so I'm going to work on them. I won't finish them all this month. I know I won't. Um, but I would like to finish that up because it takes up a lot of space in my like sheet mask drawer. And it annoys me because it doesn't stack nicely with my other sheet masks. So um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use that up over time. And I am introducing one uh, little sample. I don't have any body samples to introduce into the project um, so I'm just going to replace like the skincare one uh, with this guy so this is the Dr. Jart Sikapair Serum on this side and the Derma Green Solution Cream on this side now I don't I haven't tried the serum before I don't believe uh, but the cream I don't know if they have like a standalone color corrector type product in their sicker pair range or if it was this particular cream i didn't like it like the, the little pot color corrector that i had uh but i don't know and i won't know unless i use it and it's a fucking sachet so i i was like you know what let's solve that mystery stick it in the project pan and use it okay so that's it for my project pan update number three and quarterly refresh um i'm feeling good about my project pan other than 
I know I'm not making as good progress as I could be if I was using the makeup items more regularly. I also see an issue with using the samples. I need to actually, uh, I need to find a new way of making sure that those samples are sort of front and center when I'm reaching for makeup or skincare or hair products. Uh, they can't get lost in the fray of everything else essentially because then I don't use them and the whole purpose of doing a project pan and including products in it is to use them or notice that you want to get rid of them um, and my issue is is that I'm completely fucking failing to remember to use them or even see them or know that they're a bloody thing in my life until I sit down to film these fucking videos which is a problem uh, so that's going to be my job for April, uh, working out a new way to make sure that I'm constantly seeing my project pan things. I know like the hair care and the skincare items, the samples, they just, they can get lost amongst other products. Um, and since I'm sort of housebound at the moment, uh, I did take some time to sort of sort through the area where I keep my products that are currently in use and I tidied them up a little bit. So m maybe that will help. Um, but also, I think they need their own dedicated little tubs that I can keep on my desk or something. So that's the goal for April. Let me know how you guys are going with your project pans. I know a lot of people are currently in um, self-isolation or self-quarantine uh, due to the global health crisis. Um, and I've seen a lot of people saying that like they're not wearing makeup, they're not using their project pan products. Let me know if you are one of those people and maybe you know, talk about why you're struggling with it. And if you are one of those people that is now finding that you're actually using your project pan items more because you're at home, um, maybe like, you know, get down in the comments and leave some supportive comments for people who might be like having a hard time. It's like, it's a, it's a really, um, shocking and difficult time for everyone. Um, so if, you guys can sort of support people and bounce off one another and get some little uplifting shit happening down in those comments section. Fucking go for it. Like, you know, let's try and support people through this. And obviously, you know, makeup, is, it's not fucking important. Not important at all, but it's the little things that can help to sort of distract you and pick up your mood a little bit. So I hope you guys are doing all right. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will see you in the next one. Bye.